one of the responsibilities of a professional triathlete significant other, me as a fiance, partner, or husband, is while Holly takes a two hour and 20 minute flight to LA, I am taking a 16 hour drive with both of our bikes, two sets of wheels, wetsuits, running shoes, and all of her training clothes that we're gonna test with Jim. Bird shit on my hand. Oh no. <laughs> so we made it to California. Uh, how do you feel about being back? Yeah, I mean, it's been a super short trip so far. You drove down, um, 15 hour drive, two days. Picked me up at the airport, I flew down. We went ocean swimming this morning, Tower 26. That was pretty nice. And I actually felt really, really good, which this has also been kind of a test to like drop down from altitude, so. Like day two, I think. Yeah, I mean, day so two, far, you're I feel really good. Feeling so. good. So the, the main reason we're here is to do yeah. aero testing on the bike, and we're at Yorba Buena, Yorba Linda Park. I don't know, somewhere down mm -hmm. in Orange County. We're meeting Jim Manton from Aero to do bike testing, which is a little different than wind tunnel or the velodrome, which you've done before. With I've Jim. done the velodrome, never done wind tunnel. And this is kind of the newer thing he's working on. We'll let him explain it, but he tends to like this type of testing better for trying different things. Wanting to test like maybe little position tweaks with like hands, obviously angles and things, and then helmets. Big one I want to test is race suit, sleeves versus no sleeves. Like does it actually make a difference? hydration, equipment, bottle, positions, just see if we can optimize things. Anything else you're looking forward to while you're here? I would like to gain speed. That's the first, that's the biggest thing. I would like to gain speed for going the same power. That seems like a no-brainer, really. Yeah, that's the whole point. That's yeah. the whole point. I also know it's gonna be super tiring. From what I know, the protocol is either like four by a K or six by 750 meters. In each thing you for test. For each single te like change you're testing. And I just remember just from the velodrome mm. testing I did before, and I kind of messed it up because I went way too hard because I remember Jim was just like, Threshold go at what you can sustain for an hour. And I don't know, I just like went for the highest number that I thought I could do and I was just like, Halfway through, I was like, I've made a big mistake. I've got loads of snacks. I'm like prepared. It's not gonna see a tired and hangry Holly. Well, let's hope not. <laughs> Sean loves that. <laughs> when we went from the wind tunnel to the velodrome, that brought your interactivity with the bike back into play, right? Yeah. Because once you, when you're held static, there's no interaction between the athlete and the bike. And that, that's an important piece of the puzzle. But the goal was always real world yeah. testing, always. Um, because it's it's actually how you ride your bike. It's interacting with the elements. The, the road is not perfectly smooth. The wind is not constantly coming from you in one direction, yeah, yeah. nor is it perfectly straight. It's tumbling, it's constantly moving. And so you don't, you know, you can test something at 10 degrees yaw, but you're never constantly yeah. seeing 10 degrees of yaw. You're, you're getting wind in all different directions and different puffs of wind, and your speed will change the apparent wind that you're experiencing so nothing beats real world in the end all we're doing is measuring how much power it's taking you to go a given yeah. speed right that that in the in the most simplified form that's what we're doing when you test outside you have to account for wind speed and wind direction mm -hmm. that has to be part of the equation this is all what's called virtual elevation testing right or some people uh, know this better as the chung method so, but in the end, how much power to, to go a yeah. given speed? But if you can't account for wind speed and wind direction, then then you can't actually calculate mm -hmm. anything. So once we were able to reliably 
um, measure those things. Now we can test in the real world and it's made all the difference. We need to test you on how you actually ride your bikes. The device on the bike measures wind. Wind speed. Wind speed. Wind direction. All the atmospheric conditions, barometric pressure, oh, cool. um, air density, you know, elevation. Highly, highly accurate GPS unit mm -hmm. on it. Uh, so yeah, it's measuring. It's it's a it's a whole weather a weather meter out mm -hmm. there on the bike for us, and and uh, it, it measures just hyper accurately. So. And then you're pairing that all that information from the bike, wind data, barometric pressure, all these things, with her power, power numbers and speed and speed weight comes into the equation right yep. that's why we weigh before every okay. time so because weight is part of that algorithm yep. it's the thing i struggle with most is people tend to overcook yeah and then they just start dying out yeah. and, it, and then the test's over it once fatigue sets in at all we're done yeah we're done just ride ride like you race Sweet. Funny where we started, I, I had an idea of where I hoped we would end, and, and we went way past that and uh, got a little greedy at the end trying to get even more. And to see results like that from someone of her level, that that's it's not normal, but it's great, yes. you know. So, yeah, we we got way more than we had hoped for. Someone wants to reach out to you, ask questions, where do they find you? Uh, they can they can go on our website, arrowhighperformance.com. Uh, ERO highperformance.com and that's the best way to get a hold of us and uh, we're always happy to help and always happy to work with anybody. Arrow is for everybody. So you started a channel, what kind of content are you putting up and what should people expect to see there? So we're just getting started with that and we're going to test things that people wonder about and, and tell you whether or not it's fast or whether it's fiction. And that's what the channel is called, Faster Fiction. Awesome. And uh, we, we'll have fun with that, testing products, testing positions. We just did the bottle down the chest, which of course is getting a lot of attention. But yeah, we're going to answer questions for people because not everybody can test. Yes. Uh, and we understand that. So, and, and you know, we want, we want to be on the side of the consumer. What's best for you as an athlete? That's awesome. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> so we got back from California, got some data back from Jim and some numbers. Testing position tweaks, uh, mainly like angles, rises, and just found I was a bit faster, a bit lower down with a little bit more angle. Found a position that's one super comfortable and saves me a few watts, so that's a win-win. Swimsuit versus tri-suit with sleeves. And we found out that the tri-suit is here to stay. Yeah, swimsuit's <laughs> dead. Slower, we actually tested it twice just to confirm yeah. on two different days. Both times it came out slower. And then really from there, there were just some minor things. We tested a bunch of things that Jim wanted to test that are really popular and kind of, you see everybody <laughs> racing in. The bottle down the kit, yeah. the calf sleeves. And um, I was really reluctant to try the bottle down my kit because I've been like dead against it ever since I've seen everyone doing it because I just yeah, think- they're running with camelbacks and like juggling a camelback. Yeah, a that looks look bad. That everyone looks pregnant. A bottle down is not as noticeable. But anyway, I was way faster. Way faster, <laughs> so, so. you may see me in a race with a bottle down if I can get it in. <laughs> so bottle down the kit, definitely faster for, me. for Holly. I think it's like just quantifying exactly 
what you're saving, and then like, is it a change that's worth adopting? <laughs> we tested a couple different helmets, and we found that they maybe are marginally faster, but apparently there's a version of the helmet you have, mm -hmm. the Giro Arrowhead, that you really, you like that helmet anyway. Yeah, and, there is and a it looks better. And there's a version with uh, no, no vents, vents. Yeah. that theoretically would be just as fast as the helmets we tested. So. Yeah, so that's still a work in progress. So in the end, what are the things that you're going to change for upcoming races to hopefully make you faster? Well, position I think was a big thing that I wanted to gain out of it. I had not done any aero testing and position. Like I, I've kind of just done it's it out of years. comfort. Well, I've never done aero testing in terms of position. Well, you did position. the velodrome and position testing. Oh yeah, true. True. But that was on a different bike back then with the old speed concept. Um, but yeah, so that was just good. So just update the position. Yeah. Test it, make sure the tweaks we made are, are actually faster and, and just know where we are in general, mm -hmm. get a baseline for where we are. I mean, everything else was just a bonus, really. Like we want to obviously suit. test the suits. Yeah, which we found the suit that mm -hmm. you're going to race in. So we don't have to guess about that anymore. Yeah. So as long as it's not banned by Iron Man, you'll be probably doing a bottle. I mean, if anything, this has just made me want to test more things because you're just like, OK, now I'm at a point and then like you just think about all these other things that you want to test. It's kind of like a game. You you get a yeah. number. I mean, now you have a CDA. <laughs> you have a CDA number now. That I could like go share, which <laughs> I'm not actually going to share. <laughs> but now we can like try to get that incrementally lower yeah. and lower every time you test. It's He's kind of promised that he's going to come to Boulder if he gets enough interest. So I really want him to come to Boulder to do some testing. So. If anyone in Boulder wants to do some testing, reach out to Jim. Reach out to Jim. Or leave some comments. Yep, or comments. We could pass it on to Jim. We can pass it on. Tell him we've got some people interested. <clears throat> we'll be back to training. We've got a couple we more weeks. We are back to training. We're back to training we have now. We've been back training. <laughs> we've been back. A couple more hard weeks of work in and then start to sharpen up for the main part of the season. It's funny, I guess. <laughs> Sharpening up is funny. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you around. <laughs> see you around. Oh.